Scorpio, let's jump into your reading. Let's see what your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions are with you at this time. Your person thinks that you are incredibly competent, capable, that they would like to be on a ship with you, floating in the water, feeling as though they have a great partner. The Nine of Cups, eat, drink, and be merry. It's a joyful card. It's all about live for today. You know, we'll worry about tomorrow later, but live in the moment. It's joyfulness. It's happiness. It's wish fulfillment. It really is a wish come true. So your person really feels as though they hit the the lottery when they won with you the six of wands just another sign they want to introduce you to all of their friends when they think about you they are talking about you they're they're really very sort of thrilled you know when they think about you you just put a smile on their face in terms of their heart space your person is in a conflicted situation, they see you as the ideal partner. You're the Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress energy. This person feels in their heart space like they're trying to ward off love. They're trying to fight it. You know, they're trying to think of all the reasons that they shouldn't be in love with you. They're trying to think of, you know, how do they stay grounded? How do they stay logical? How do they keep their lives above water? Because we do know that this person has had a rough go of it in love. They're very conflicted. It's internal conflict. It doesn't have much to do with you. In their heart space, you fit the view or the paradigm or the, they think that you are the perfect partner. They know that other people are wanting your attention. They know that, you know, in their heart space that you may not be of an energy to date them exclusively until they can give you reason to do so. They also feel as though they are keeping their options open. So their heart space is closed off in my viewpoint right now. But you know what? It's not unusual especially in a new relationship. If you've been dating this person for two years, then, you know, that's another matter. But right now, if this is a new relationship, your person's almost trying to fight off their feelings of affection for you. It does look like if they are, um, if you're new in the relationship, they are still entertaining other people, talking to them and so forth. Your person right now is really studying you. This is a card of almost like espionage. <laughs> this looks like a Navy SEAL or somebody in a hoodie here doing uh, reconnaissance work. And so in terms of their intentions, they are watching you very carefully. I feel as though they drive by at night, which of course gets into that m emotional area. You know, they feel conflicted because while they may be dating more than one person or they may still have feelings for somebody from the past they really don't want you to have that their intentions are to watch you very carefully this person is not always good at knowing how they feel when we get this intentions card though i don't like the seven of swords the intention is is that they wouldn't necessarily tell you a lot i feel as though also they're very comfortable going silent with you and they leave it up to you to sort of figure things out when you would talk to them or text them, they would be very happy-go-lucky. And that's this is an intentional set of actions. So they're very conscious of this because they're intentionally working life, doing things the way that they do them, which does not seem very compatible to a successful relationship. So I'm just going to say that. That's my opinion of what I'm seeing with that energy. When we look at their actions, Scorpio, we see the three of coins. They want to collaborate with you. Look at you've gone as the relationship goes forward here over the next several weeks. We see your person is in this very collaborative mood. That's like, honey, let's figure out what we're going to do for dinner. Let's get paint chips at Home Depot and see what, what color we're going to paint the guest room or the baby room. <laughs> But they see you as the empress. Their actions are that they're treating you as an empress. They do have remorse and regret, though, let me tell you. You know, this is all going on simultaneously, but it is a developmental. You know, we don't develop actions until we've been through these other three steps. Your person has a lot of remorse and regret. 
now they're in this energy as you know your outcome your your the actions that they take is honey i'm home i'm rushing home because they understand that at the end of the day you are not going to be alone they understand that from the standpoint of where you're viewing life you're in a good place just because they're not doesn't mean that um that you're going to kind of deal with it you know at the end of the day this pre-empress empress energy is really not going to accept anything less than what you deserve and it's not even critical thinking you know you're not even thinking like that scorpio you're just thinking about happiness you're thinking about what you want in love and you're on a very successful path to love so we're going to jump in with the clarifiers here and we are going to take a look and see what this person is what are the details behind all of this because i'm sure they're pretty juicy i'm sure they're very juicy okay so scorpio why do they see you as this captain of the ship somebody who has mastery of their emotions that's how they think of you. They think of you as someone who is pretty unshakable, which is good. I like it. You're a fixed sign. You are pretty unshakable. You know? Okay, so we have, ooh, they think you are super sexy, super exciting. Aries Queen is ruled by Mars, and Mars is a co-ruler of Scorpio. And it's all about, you know, almost a warrior-like attitude about great sex, about really having fun, intimate relationships, that you are very pizzazzy. You know, you would make some of the movies, the hot scenes in a movie are very much embedded in their brain. So it does look like they fantasize about you, they think about you a great deal, and they do feel as though you'd be a great partner but certainly not one that anybody can mess with we have look at this this person gets so detached from their emotions here you are having a great time you know you're laughing you're drinking you're having fun you know you're yucking it up but they're having fun and yet they have this really strong libra energy What's Scorpio doing? Why do they think it's so funny? Is this really real? They are assessing everything they do or that you do when they look at you. Uh, victory. So your person does not, obviously, they do not see you as flaky. I can tell you what they don't think about you. We get this beautiful energy of winner, winner, chicken dinner, Leo energy that you present yourself beautifully. But you have been very successful in your life. Your career is something that's off the charts. Whatever it is that you do, whatever you have a passion for, you have great mastery over it. You've gotten recognition in your field of endeavor it is a beautiful energy that says you're very nurturing you're very kind you're very grounded you've done well you don't need anybody you know at the end of the day you don't need anybody the energy in terms of them juggling other people two of coins three of swords i do feel as though they may have heartbreak from the past that they're dealing with i feel very much that this person is um still pining for someone they feel conflicted that's why i feel like their heart space is taken right now you know they're they're not even putting a for rent sign out um officially your person feels as though they're still heartbreaking for somebody from somebody that juggled them that put them into a competitive situation and you know in their heart space is just right now it's currently unavailable it's you know closed for business at the present moment is what i'm seeing but they they have to heal these old old wounds look at that see now i like this energy because now they're really struggling because you are coming in as a person with whom they could have everything and so they're even though they try to close off their emotions from you they really can't this is inner conflict this is ah oh, damn it scorpio how can you be so good oh I was so convinced that I just was going to stay alone forever and live in a hermit in a cave. And now, Scorpio, you are challenging me to be my best self. You're challenging me to be as good as you are. You're challenging me to open my heart space. Because this is Leo energy, Leo the lion, Leo the lion hearted, okay? So it's very it's very interesting energy why do we have the double nine of coins for how they feel in their heart space they know without a doubt that you are super attractive and that everybody wants you look at that 
They feel as though if they have a relationship with you, look at the cards popping out. They feel as though if they have a relationship with you that they're they're just it's done. That the story is written. The love story is written in their heart space. They see themselves winner winner chicken dinner. What a great life, you know, in their heart space. Again, this is clarifying the nine of pentacles because i don't have room for it <laughs> i'm putting it here but we see a person who's opening their heart i mean they just you've conquered them you have conquered this person's heart against their will through all of the energy of them feeling heartbroken yeah, you've had this very healing aspect to them which is true of scorpio scorpio is very is a healing energy scorpio is life and death it's a surgeon who cuts the cancer out you know it's the it's the 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 captain of the ship who brings everybody home alive against all odds and i have goose pimples as i say that this person feels as though they can invest in you. They could have a legacy life. They could, this is happily ever after. They can share everything with you. They can share everything. We have a dog for loyalty. We have two people who are coming together, working collaboratively to create something of substance, of lifelong uh, happiness and joy. So here we go. We go from the nine of coins to the ten of coins. We go from pre-empress to empress. Uh, so in their heart space, they have been fighting off loving you. <laughs> <laughs> you've been just enjoying life you're leaving them on their own to deal with whatever they have to deal with and although you have a very healing nature you're allowing yourself very much Scorpio I'm so happy to say you are not allowing this person to be codependent you're not buying into any of that this person doesn't understand really the difference between codependency and what a healthy love and nurturing relationship is the person they were involved with was is toxic and so they're learning something brand new you are teaching this person how to love in a very beautiful way setting your teaching skills by example into their life look at that <laughs> they've been watching you so closely they watch you online their intention is to watch you and see if you are on other dating sites They've, they've been quiet. It looks like their intention is to search for answers. They're trying to figure this out. They're trying to figure out why all of a sudden they're not hurting. This person came into this relationship with the intention of just taking what they wanted, you know, and, and just sort of hit it and quit it kind of an attitude. And yet now we have this Gemini energy. Scorpio, Scorpio, don't go anywhere. <laughs> They, their intentions have fallen by the wayside because we see them realizing, Scorpio, you're just over here having a good life. You're not pining away for them. You're not in the energy that says that you're going to change your life. Your feeling is very much one of empowerment. The Empress doesn't chase. The Empress stays still. The Empress does what the Empress does, and everybody else has to figure themselves out. This person is getting headaches from the mere thought that they came in into the relationship in such a sort of they put their worst foot forward is what I'm seeing they really did they made a lot of statements they said things they shouldn't have said now they're sitting here pining away thinking like they really messed this up so their intention is to try to get this wheel of fortune to turn in their favor they're very hopeful that the, the wheel will turn and the, ah there we go see proof positive they are just trying to find answers on how to turn that wheel. And you know what? We do have a hand in our destiny. You know, the timing. To me, the Wheel of Fortune is simply timing. You know, some days are better than others. And that's why we should watch astrology. Because astrology is all about the historical uh, lessons of how timing unfolds for all of us individually and as a collective. But we're seeing here that your person very much is shocked it's shock and awe, shock and awe about the fact that they are just finding you irresistible. They are finding you an unbelievable person that they cannot resist. I like it. That was a little redundant. Okay, the three of coins. What does this person want in terms of their actions? Oh, three of pentacles. That's collaboration, working together. Remember I said, honey, I'm home. Uh, well, that's honey, I'm home, Cancerian energy. The Empress energy is always the, wi the wife, the bride, the mother of children, etc. 
but this is the four of wands is buying a home together but it is certainly usually in a state of marital bliss as is the ten of coins those are typically when you build a legacy typically you're going to take legal action to do it so that's all about marriage typically I can be long-term living with somebody there's a lot of people who have you know relationships that last 20 30 years they raise kids together and they're not married so the new paradigm in today's modern times is different so take it as it resonates we have this three of coins this person wants to collaborate this is these are the bridesmaids that's a wedding tent the standard rider weight is the bride and groom dancing under the garland this is about stability your person's actions are going to be about building stability with you their, their intentions well poof gone their intentions were not great to begin with and now thank heavens the tower fell uh, because you wouldn't be here asking about them or looking at them if you didn't want to have something possibly more with them. Why is the Empress here in your energy, Scorpio? I love this. The Devil card, okay. You are very much fixed upon having what you want. This person is obsessed with, they, they're bringing toxic energy into their actions. They have been toxic with you. They have been trying to sort of manipulate you to get what you what they want from you. They are very sexy, but again, this is their energy, not yours. You have no responsibility in that. Let's see if they're going, you know, they have remorse and regret right away. See, see, they, they really are understanding. Why do we have the Nine of Swords here, please? Give us information about that Nine of Swords. The world card. Oh, they're closing out their toxicity because they know that you are not going to invite them in. See, there we go. There's a proof positive. They can't say, honey, I'm home to you, not to you, Scorpio, because you're over here. You know the scoop. There's no way they can trick you. There's no way they can control you. They have to. They're in this remorse, regret, losing sleep because they tried to be manipulative down here with this energy of, well, I'll just come in and take what I want. The beautiful empress is here. I'll, you know, I'll plunder the cabinet, so to speak. And here, you know, they really see you as a person, but this person has control issues. I want to say right now that this is not shade on anybody. Anybody who has been through a trauma has control issues. When I see the devil card, I don't freak out as much as a lot of, well, not that a lot of people do, but my take on the devil card is very much, this is a person who feels as though it has to be their way or the highway so that they feel safe, Okay. And they're very attractive. This person is worthy, but, you know, the devil is a fallen angel. So we have to remember that, and we have to have some sort of grace. And you do. You have so much grace about this. And so what's, what is happening is this is a love story sh that should be held up as a shining example of what to do and what not to do, Scorpio, because you are maintaining who you are. You're not getting caught in this. You're the empress. You know, you're looking down at this like, yeah, not today. No, thank you. I'm going on with my life. If you're having a problem here, that is your problem. Work it out. You know, and you're moving forward with your life, but their actions are to want to catch up with you. You know, they really want to say, honey, I'm home. And here they are, you know, and they're in this energy of feeling like they're drowning because they're in a relationship that in which they're falling in love, you know, but their actions are there. It's like they take action to step forward and then they mess things up then they have remorse and they regret you're they're like on a uh, what do they call it a hamster wheel a hamster wheel so here's the beauty of it your person is actually going to learn they are learning from this you're dealing with somebody who has some some significant emotional intelligence they're really a good person they understand now as they go through this process of the of the way they're you know the way they're going to really operate with you is they're going to calibrate to you which is appropriate you're healthy they're coming out of this heartbreak you know heartbreak hannah kind of energy heartbreak harry heartbreak hannah but they're now going to get settled in a very healthy happy way in this beautiful virgo energy getting to know you getting to know all about you but actually getting to know me getting to know the good part of me getting to know the part of me that you know getting back to their healthy self doing the work they are so smitten with you that they are doing the work and that's incredible 
you know, sometimes people can love us and they don't even know how to do the work. So sometimes we like to believe, you know, the Disney, well, I don't want to, oh, D-I-S, you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes we get caught up in this feeling like, well, if they just loved me enough, they could overcome anything. And that's not true. You know, it's just not a true statement. You know, sometimes people are caught up in their own stuff. So anyway, sending you love from Chicago. I'm going to leave it there. Bye, Scorpio.